Hi everyone, hi believers. Maybe many of you don't know the secrets and the curiosities about the relationship between Michael Jackson and his dad. For this reason today I'm here to show you them. Get ready and enjoy the video subscribing to the channel. Let's start. Joseph Walter Jackson gave birth to 11 sons, one of them is Michael Jackson. But the question is, how was the relationship with his father Joseph? What were the particularities that characterized the relationship between Michael and his father? Unfortunately their rapport wasn't really united and calm, as Michael told us during his interviews. Scared. I mean, scared, so scared that we, I would regurgitate. You would vomit? Mm-hmm. When would you vomit? What, what, what would produce that sort of reaction in you? His presence, just seeing him. And uh, sometimes I'd faint, and my bodyguards would have to hold me up. Uh, Let's start from the beginning. Michael was born in Gary, Indiana, from Catherine and Joseph. From the beginning the brothers Jackson have a big talent for singing and dancing enough to point out to their father their talent. Joseph, a low-level musician who worked in a steel mill, created a band formed by Tito, Jackie E. Germain and after having watched Michael's talent founded Jackson 5. The relationships between father and son didn't go well, Joseph usually used corporal punishments towards the brothers and especially the little Michael. You know, and he, he practiced us with a belt in his hand. And if you miss a step, expect to be, uh... How often would he beat you? Mm, too much. Would he only use a belt? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> no more than a belt. What else would he use to hit you with? Ironing cords. Whatever's around. Throw you up against the wall hard as you could. Um, see, it's one thing to. But you were only a child. I know. You were a baby. I know. It's one thing to discipline. And you were producing successful records. I know. He would lose his temper. I just remember hearing my mother scream, "Joe, you're gonna kill him! You're gonna kill him! Stop it! You're gonna kill him!" You know. And uh... Joseph burned his sons with a tea kettle. He hurt them with his belt, and he never showed them love. The rhinoplasty had by Michael are the result of the continuous Joseph torment. Joseph bullied Michael for his nose aspect, so that he called him with the name of Big Nose. This is the reason why Michael started being unsure about his look since the premature age. Did your father and your brothers tease you about your appearance as an adolescent? My father did, and some cousins did. What did your father say? Oh, God. Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. He used to tease me real bad about it. It's cruel, isn't it? Yeah, it used to hurt me. I don't think he realized how much he was hurting me. What sort of thing did he say? He would tease me about how I looked, and he would say, well, you didn't get it from my side of the family. It must have been on Kate, you know, Kate, he would always say, meaning my mother. You didn't get that from me. I said, I feel like he said, thanks for making me feel better, you know? Because I don't think how bad he, he didn't even laugh. I don't think, people don't stop to think what they're saying sometimes, and, and the effect it can have on a person, you know?
Have you seen my childhood? Joseph didn't let have social relationships to his kids. He forced Michael to rehearse at least five hours a day and not considering the social life of his own sons. After the first successes Michael didn't attend the public school anymore and he neither could have fun with his peers, Michael had no childhood because of Joseph. Even during the bad tour, Michael had an anxiety attack behind the scenes caused by the unexpected visit of his father. Even after Michael's death, Joseph Jackson continued to take advantage of what caused his son's death. Joseph Jackson was avid, evil, and cruel. In the 18 days after the tragic death of Michael, Joseph earned almost half a million dollars on his dead famous son. The Good Morning America paid Joseph $200.000 to release an interview while the English tabloids paid him almost $250.000 taking advantage of Michael's memory. In an episode of the TV series, Atlanta there's a strange character called Teddy Perkins who seems to have many connections with Michael Jackson, including the relationship with his father. In the episode, Teddy says his father used to beat his children to teach them to be good at life endorsing his father's technique. As I explained to you before, Joseph Jackson used to beat his children too. Moreover, Catherine Jackson sued twice his husband Joseph to divorce, one in 1973 and another in 1979. In both cases it was persuaded to block it so as not to ruin the family's reputation. In conclusion the relationship between Michael and his father Joseph was not absolutely calm and peaceful. In spite of that we can see that Michael has always mentioned his dad in his speeches. As we can see, Paris, Michael's daughter, had a beautiful relationship with his grandpa. These facts make us doubt a lot. Let's see you in a new interesting video.